Now that we've gotten accustomed to how the dynamic data block works on its own and in tandem with query loop blocks, such as our advanced posts one, it's time to see how it works in action with custom fields, a scenario that many web developers see. To get this workflow going, there are a few prerequisites that you need to take care of. First is installing one of the popular custom fields plugins that we support, uh, such as ACF, Metabox, or Pods. The full list of supported plugins can be found on our website in the documentation section. A quick glance at our custom field implementation shows these fields have been assigned to posts. So we will create a demonstrative query loop using our advanced posts and dynamic data blocks and use posts as the chosen post type. The second prerequisite is to enable the dynamic data module from the post types extra extension. This can be found in your main Bloxy dashboard pane under the Extensions tab. Before continuing, please note the other parts of this tutorial as they will cover the basics of the block and what other possibilities are available. Great, once these things have been taken care of, let's see the workflow in action. We'll insert one of our advanced post blocks onto a page. If you remember, the advanced post block can be composed of multiple dynamic data blocks that can handle pulling in information such as the post title, the featured image, and so on. In our demonstration, we'll keep the layout generated for us and we'll add an additional dynamic data block to render the custom field contents. Once the block has been inserted, you will need to choose the correct data source in the sidebar. In our case, we'll choose our custom field. By default, the custom field will be rendered as is. You may want to take this opportunity to add a label before or after the output. For this one, we're using a custom field to denote how hot an article might be. So we can add both a before and an after label. And in the custom field itself, we'll enter just the number. Remember the loop analogy that we've talked about. Again, it is only necessary to add the dynamic data block once and it is automatically added to all of our postcards. Pretty simple to understand. Let's save the changes and preview what we have done so far. And voila, our post loop now has custom fields, highlighting information for your visitors. Don't forget that this scenario also works with the other query loop blocks, such as products collection. Just as a quick example, let's jump to a different page that has this block inserted onto it and we'll see custom fields are also displayed there. The dynamic data block is a handy tool that lets you build powerful templates and various scenarios that require working with data that changes constantly and needs to be up to date at all times on the front end. A dynamic touch for a dynamic website. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.